And I think, I think that's a good enough way to start. You guys ready for your arguments and grievances? Comedy debate for February 2014, you guys. 2015. You know what? If you guys are half engaged, I'll be half engaged. How about that, huh? How many people were here last month, by the way? Yeah, you guys are the only ones here, and it's the worst show we've had in three years. So let's try and make this the best show that we can have. And please, for the love of God, shut the fuck up! If you're here to see a comedy show, I'm not going to say it more than 40 times tonight. So just seriously sit down and be quiet. With that being said, you guys ready for your first debate this evening or what, huh? Put your hands together. God damn it. I'm sweating too much for to be this early in the show. Uh, our first debate tonight is the Denver Broncos versus uh, Ford Broncos. On the side of Denver Broncos, this guy, he's one of Denver's favorite natives. Please put your hands together for Mr. Bobby Crane! <laughs> okay. And on the side of Ford Broncos, uh, this guy, it's actually his first time here on the show. Uh, I heard he's quite good. Please put your hands together. Nice warm welcome for Mr. Clay Rockstone, everybody. Let's hear it for Clay. Rockstone. You look like a guy, I know. Uh, and going first on the side of Ford Broncos, Clay Rockstone! Hello, everybody. My name is Clay Rockstone. I'm not a uh, stand up comedian. And uh, I am not bow legged from a history of riding horses. I want to get that out of the way. I just got fucked really good in the back of my 1989 Ford Bronco. It is a spacious. I've got notes here. I'm not prepared like a lot of these professional comedians. Uh, the Ford Bronco is one of the safest automobiles. And that's just a fact. That's not even tall tale. That's just, uh, I'm not horseshitting you on that one. Uh, Ford Bronco, a uh, hell of a lot safer than a Dodge Charger, for instance. Uh, my uncle Chin uh, Rockmore uh, ended up dying in a Dodge Charger, uh, driving it in reverse at 70 miles an hour in order to attempt to go back in time and prevent Obama from becoming president. Uh, that's right, he died right in a, in a Dodge Charger. Now me, me, <laughs> me, if I'm trying to go back in time and prevent Obama from ever stepping foot in the White House, I'm trusting a Ford Bronco, all right? It's the only vehicle that could go in reverse fast enough to negate the laws of physics and therefore go back in time. If I only know, if I only know three things in life, if I only know three things, it's that I love my wife more than anything in this world. The Jews greatly exaggerated the number of that they got killed in the Holocaust. And the Ford Bronco is the greatest machine that God has ever put on this planet. Now Bobby Crane's gonna get up here and argue that somehow the Denver Broncos are a superior uh, way to get around town. when compared to a deluxe Ford Bronco that could easily seat 12. Now, I will tell you, uh, the Denver Broncos assuredly uh, have definitely caused more domestic violence than a Ford Bronco. Now, they have consistently been embarrassing and disappointing to the people of Denver causing not more than one or two, more than, uh, more than one, and uh, no less than a dozen, uh, fights over the play of Peyton Manning. <laughs> Wives have been beaten, girlfriends pushed downstairs, fathers-in-law slapped in the mouth. <laughs> now about as heated a debate as you're gonna get when the Ford Bronco is involved is a 90 versus a 92, and uh, Fisticuffs will not be involved. Just a lot of gentlemanly concessions on the merits of a larger engine versus better gas mileage. All right, there's going to be a little bit of heated discussion over which you prefer. 
That's mostly generational. <laughs> Me? <laughs> I know three things in this world. George Jones has the softest voice in all of country. The Indians would have killed each other eventually. And nothing beats driving down a backcountry road in a Ford Bronco with your best girl. Thank you so much. Just real quick, though. Uh, Ford Broncos haven't caused any domestic abuse. Do you remember O.J. Simpson? Do you remember that? Blame it on the SUV. Speaking of football, how about them Broncos? Huh? How about them Broncos? Let me hear you. Is this not a Bronco nation out here? I'm telling you now. How about them motherfucking kings of the Mile High City? How about them Denver Broncos? 1960, the year the Broncos organization was established. Also the number of times I've masturbated into my lucky Bronco sock. 21, number of playoff appearances by the Denver Broncos. Also the number of beers I drink before I masturbate into my lucky Bronco sock. 14, number of division championships won by the Denver Broncos. Also, the average age of the girl that I masturbate to when I masturbate into my lucky Bronco sock. Wait, I thought that was 18 division championships. For the purposes of this joke, let's just say that I jerk off to 18-year-old championships. Seven. Seven. Number of conference championships won by the Denver Broncos. Also, the number on the Broncos jersey that I wear when I jerk off into my lunky Bronco sock. I can't come unless I feel the weight of an Elway jersey on my back. Two. Two, two. Number of Super Bowl championships won by the Denver Broncos. Also, number two is uh, what I'd like to be taken because it's kind of a necessity for me to masturbate in my lucky Bronco sock. That's right, I have to be drunk, pooping, wearing an Elway jersey, and masturbating to 14 to 18 year old girls for me to come. Bronco Nation, who's with me? Oh, uh, if you'll excuse me, I don't have a fancy uh, three-ring binder like my, uh, my opponent. We come from simpler times. Uh, my great-granddaddy uh, was able to cobble together the funds for a one-ring binder that was not very effective at holding papers together. Uh, <sighs> folks, I only know a few simple things in this life. A short walk down a country road that we call existence. And, uh... <laughs> that is that blacks, browns, and Hawaiians are an inferior race. <laughs> Golf is truly the sport of kings. And the Ford Bronco has better horsepower than anything even on the market today. All right, now this is clearly a superior automobile. They went in extinct, much like the dinosaurs, because they were too perfect. <laughs> Consumed too many oil and precious resources for the earth to keep up. That is not the fault of the dinosaurs nor the Ford Bronco that the earth wasn't ready for neither. <laughs> and we've been talking about the Denver Broncos. Don't seem too intimidating to me. John Elway, more like John Smellway, all right? <laughs> Steve Atmater Atwater, more like Steve Twatwater, all right? And the <laughs> 
and I have met that man, but I will make fun of his last name in mixed company. Uh, Romo cop, more like homo cop, all right? And he, he would have laughed at that because he hates gays too. Clinton Portis, more like clit dumb whore tits, all right? <laughs> No Sean Moreno. More like Ho Clon Poor Gay No. <laughs> Brian Greasy. More like Brian Really Greasy. <laughs> Shannon Sharp. More like Shannon Dull. All right. Uh, if there is only. If there is only. Three things that I have been put on this earth to disseminate to other peoples. It's that pain is weakness leaving the body. What doesn't kill me makes me stronger. And I am going to use a Ford Bronco to smash into this place on the 4th of July. Thank you so much, Vine Street. I mean, I ain't hating on no Ford Broncos, man. What kind of Bronco fan wouldn't want to drive a Ford Bronco? It's a Bronco. Bronco Nation. Even a Bronco 2 is a Bronco 2. You know what I mean? Come on. Anybody? A uh, quick question, y'all. I, now I'm talking like you. I don't even... Uh, it's just so fun. Quick question. If God's not a Broncos fan, why is the sunset... Something that gets me thinking about jerking off into my lucky Bronco sock. <laughs> All right, enough sock jokes, but uh, quick question. Who's hotter, Champ Bailey or Shannon Sharp? Trick question, I'm hotter because I like to do hot yoga when I'm masturbating in my lucky Bronco sock. <laughs> Y'all like, how many of these masturbating in a lucky Bronco socks can he do? I'm done. I'm done. But just a quick question. What's louder? The crunch of Bill Romanowski sacking Brett Favre or the crunch of Terrell Davis breaking eight tackles? Trick question. What's loudest is the crunch of my lucky Bronco sock in my fist when the Broncos score a touchdown. All right, no more lucky cum sock jokes, but for real this time. Just one more question. What's got more blood on it? <laughs> Tom Brady's jersey after a Von Miller sack? Or my lucky Bronco sock? <laughs> Trick question. The bloodiest thing is the blouse that John Elway's son's girlfriend was wearing that night that he beat the shit out of her. <laughs> Fuck that kid. Fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. Back to my lucky cum sock, though. Uh, I'm sure you guys have a lot of questions about it, like, uh, what happened to the other sock? I don't know. <laughs> there was only one sock when I found it, by, behind my dad's bed. Uh, it's kind of like a family heirloom. So it turns out that uh, I, like my father, am a Raider hater slash sock masturbator. Uh, Bronco Nation, my high salute. Eat you some Papa John's pizza. Uh, also, Rod Smith works for Blackjack Pizza. They do that too. Uh, John Elway, Auto Nation USA. You guys get it. Bronco Nation, y'all. How many sponsors do you have, Bobby? You need to check all those off. All right, we got to pick a winner, you guys. You're on the side of Ford Broncos. Let's hear it for Clay Rockstone. Put your hands together for Clay. Pretty good. And if you're on the side of Bronco Nation, put your hands together for Bobby Crane. Let's hear it for Bobby Crane. Pretty close, but I'm going to have to give it to Bobby and the Denver Broncos, you guys. It is a Bronco Nation. Good thing Bobby wore that lucky sock today, huh? Bit crispy. Uh, 